I'm capped. Uh, originally from up north, various areas in Scotland. Currently living in Manchester. Uh, work in the city centre. Small software company. Um, well, actually, no, they're not really a small software company, quite large. A few hundred people in the office. Um, and then we've got a call centre that goes with it, which ramps the numbers up to about a thousand, I think. Could get public transport, but ugh, who would want to do that? I'd started to take up motorcycle lessons before I left from Manchester. It was almost at the point where I'd be able to get my test and had to stop. Um, quite annoying as when I came down here, I pretty much had to start start from square one. Mainly because there's no way that any place would know what my ability was. So they'd have to just sort of well, start me from square one. Most of the places down here seem to do sort of package style, not necessarily the whole block off five days and we'll pass you in that time, but you book up, get so many lessons and the tests. I failed my mod one on the first time due to a complete and utter screw up on the slalom. I still describe it, to this day I have no idea what the hell I actually managed to do apart from when I went to move, to sort of slalom around one of the cones, the bike just didn't move or rather it didn't turn um, it just kept on going straight I stopped got angry with myself examiner eventually noticed that I'd stopped which makes me think, realize I could have kept on going. Uh, he asked me if I wanted to continue. I said no because I was angry with myself and, well, it would not be the best mood to actually try and do anything. But I probably could have got away with a minor and passed that one if I hadn't basically stopped. If I just kept on going, I went, realized I'd missed one. Uh, well, I haven't learned pass it the next time. Uh, we're on the swerve manoeuvre. After I pulled out, slowed down, I stopped and realised that I was actually nowhere near. I, I hadn't actually swerved back in. Before the examiner called me over, I was like, alright, do you want to try that one again? Um, mainly I'd asked questions about it beforehand and I think he'd uh, he decided that that had confused me. What the fuck is with these people going through red? Um, let me have it a go again. And, well, passed it afterwards. Minor for the, the sod up. I think he even went through that at like 52 col no, it's 58 kilometers per hour as opposed to the required 52. It was a good, good feeling when you pass them, even just the mod one. Got back on my bike afterwards, which is the sort of thing here, YBR 125. Hit, revved the engine and just went, oh. When you go from having a 650cc engine down to a 125, the lack of power is it's just rather disappointing. Yeah. So, passed my test, uh, my mod 2, a few weeks later, when it was, I was finally able to sit it. Or was it two weeks later? I can never remember now. Uh, four miners on there. Two of them I'm not, yeah, two of them I'm not too bothered about. Uh, it was on due hesitation where I decided to wait behind the bus rather than go around it. Two separate buses. Um, mainly I was... I wasn't just uh, affecting the flow of traffic in any shape or form. Uh, just my own personal choice that I didn't want to go past the bus. I'm happy to wait. I got undue hesitation for them. If I'd failed, I'd be pissed off because I didn't fail. Eh. 
fair enough. Another one was <laughs> just after a stretch of 40-50 miles an hour, I didn't slow down fast enough to 30. So I didn't actually notice that I hadn't slowed down fast uh, far enough and I was in 35. A little voice in my ear going, uh, this is a 30 zone. And me going, oh shit. Well, the examiner was a sarcastic bastard. Well, behind one of the buses, waiting for it to pull off again, um, all here is, you planning on picking up people as well? In a Manchester accent. It's, I don't know. It's, uh, anyway, I think that was, he can class it as a good sign that he's not angry at you doing it, it's just like a little bit, you're, you're making a mistake doing this, you, don't, you shouldn't need to do, stop, be stopped. Granted, if I'd moved out more to the right to, so I could see past the bus, probably could have gauged whether or not I could go. But the road was narrower than I would like, so I just couldn't see. I think that was part of the main reason why he gave me the liners, because I was in a position where I couldn't see what was going on ahead. Hmm. And I'm suddenly remembering Baron Von Grumble's filtering song. Is it Baron Von Grumble? At least he was the person I heard to sing it. Except I can't remember exactly how it goes to be able to sing it along for you. But it was a silly little song. Nice driver. It's a ambulance! I was actually listening to the first video that I recorded my voice on Saturday night. Well, I was listening to it on Saturday night, I recorded it during the day on Saturday when I went to Halfords, got lost. It's always strange hearing your own voice. Just, just kept thinking my accent sounded a bit screwed up. But, yes, cyclist, you go through. Comp and this is why we hate cyclists. And then they complain when they get hit. But if you think it's a fantastic idea to go through in a red light, please don't complain when we fucking hit you. I can't think of anything interesting to talk about at the morning. At the moment. Morning? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, frozen window. I guess somebody's trying to phone me and I somehow have 
Hmm. This is the first. Um, I've got my phone connected through Bluetooth onto my headset. And I'm getting a call, I think. I'll ignore it though. And great, it's turned the volume down. Go away! Stop calling me! But figure it out, if I haven't bloody answered, I'm not going to! Ah. Shit, what happened there, mate? Oh, he's actually okay. Uh, just stopped past, uh, checked he was a fine. And what, there we go. And let's get my music back on. Nah, fuck my music. Bollocks! Damn tram! There he is. <laughs> itchy nose, itchy nose. Why do I have to have an itchy nose? And I bet they're going right round and haven't indicated. What a surprise! Indicators are for other people. Bet she goes all the way to the right. What a surprise! What a surprise! Because I'm fucking psychic. Like almost every other biker.